everybody, Kamathur6912 here, and as you know, I've been to VidCon this year. So I want to share five things I've learned at VidCon with you guys. Yay! Tip number one, make a base plan. Start planning your schedule way ahead of time. Just hop into VidCon's site, check out the program, see the lectures and the panels that interest you, all the meet and greets you want to attend, and then start making a mini schedule just so you'll know that you won't have any dead time during the convention and you'll never have the time to get bored, just to know that you're covered. Tip number two, be open-minded. This is a tip I got from my friend Zach Attack. So, do you remember the schedule you've just made for yourselves? Good. It's not set in stone. Treat it as a backup plan and as a backup plan only. It's about to change either way, trust me. You know what? Here's a story from my own experience. On the first day of VidCon, that was a Thursday, I met Vernon Shaw from Hot Pepper Gaming and he asked me whether I was coming to the live panel Friday. On the same day, I also met Cory Lubowicz from Starkin who asked me whether I was coming to the Spicer Forever meetup, also held Friday. Thankfully, at a different time so I could actually attend both of those. But here's the thing, I think I skipped Hot Pepper Gaming Live on the program so I didn't actually know it was a thing and the meetup was completely spontaneous so had I not talked with Corey or seen him tweet about it I wouldn't have known that it was actually happening. So yeah, nothing is set in stone, make sure you're versatile, aside from community pass holders with meet and tweet hours, those are set in stone. But other than that, there is really just time for everything you wish for. Make sure you spend it well. You're going to discover a lot of things throughout the convention. Tip number three, be adventurous. Don't be afraid to try new things. It will only add to your convention experience, really. Take me for example, I'm a brave girl. So I've decided why not try Truth or Dare for once. So I went to the panel and I had no idea what dare they were going to throw at me. But I decided, hey, let's try this anyway, because it's fun. So yeah, the dare ended up being a song, so that was something that was completely worth it for me, and I've had a whole lot of fun with that. So if you've got the opportunity to start and try something new, go on and have a new experience in your life throughout the convention, do it. It will be worth it eventually. You're going to love it. Tip number four, be interactive. Hello, I am an introverted person. I usually find it really hard to step out of my comfort zone and say hi to somebody new. Honestly, it makes me a little anxious, it makes me very fearful of rejection, and I just generally don't entirely like it. But VidCon was different for me, and I'm sure it will be for you too. It's going to be a little hard at first, but it's totally worth it. Thanks to just saying hi to someone and starting a conversation, I got a really good friend. Her name is Alisa, and she's the one that actually got me to try one of the new things that I did at VidCon, that was the photo challenge, the three-day photo challenge. We've just decided to go to the photo booth at VidCon just every day and take at least one picture. So yeah, meeting friends is totally worth it. It could start traditions, it could start a lot of inside jokes and just a whole lot of fun. So you should really give it a try. Say hello to someone random at VidCon, just someone you think you would like. Or just compliment them on something that you fancy in them. Like, hey, nice hair, I like your coat. You have a really beautiful smile, you know that? People love being loved. People appreciate compliments and people want to be your friends. Not all of them, but most of them. So even if you do get rejected a couple of times, don't give up. Still, keep looking for people to hang out with. It will eventually be worth it, trust me. You will get really good friends out of this, you will get a lot of awesome tips out of this, and generally your self-confidence will rise at least just a bit. Last but not least, tip number five, ask questions. That directly relates to the previous tip of being interactive, because if you need any help throughout the convention, I'm pretty sure that most of the people around you will be happy to assist. If you need any directions, I'm pretty sure that at least two of the people around you either have a map 
know where you're supposed to go and will point you there or are going the same way. So that's another conversation topic added to the bunch. Maybe you can make a friend, who knows? <laughs> if you need any food or water, I'm pretty sure that either people could point you to the right places or they carry snacks, sweet things or water on them. So you can have a go with that. It's pretty important. Personally, I carried a, at least two packs of cookies to each day of VidCon, a bottle, no, two bottles of water and hand sanitizer just if people will need it. If people around me need anything, I will know that I can supply them the things they need. Thanks for watching! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if it helped you even by a little bit, I'd love it if you like it, favorite, share, subscribe, do all the great stuff. If you want to hear more about my experiences at VidCon or about my meet and greets with YouTubers, my conversations with them, or just to see a little bit of my vlog from VidCon, please comment below. I want to know and I would really love to hear it. Until next time, keep spreading the love!